it felt like there is nothing good that can happen in this country you see all the fun stuff all the cool stuff about being a creator you don't see all the shit stuff about being a creator hmm. abhi the whole content creation industry has become a miniature version of bollywood are elvis bhai kya aage koi bol sakta hai kya we know that scamming is a big problem in india but pretty bottom of the barrel when it comes to behavior no so again don't this on yeah. indians <laughs> it was literally 24 when we got married you were a kid Yeah, he was 24 i was 27 a certain strata of people will keep thinking that yaar main to tax bhar raha hu iska sab fayda jo hai wo dusre logo ko ja raha hai i'm gonna get cancer for this What? i don't like tommy let's do it i don't like tommy <laughs> really i hate tommy jerry i never found it funny because yeah. we believe that uh, there is a cursed person no, like if cursed. anybody talks about cursed. him they are cancelled by default uh, just huh. a few days back i was sitting alone and a girl walks to me and says that i like your contents i'm like when when did i show my contents to you yeah he was probably like you, he was like he was like <laughs> if shahid kapoor is getting in trouble he deserves it yeah he deserves it ki acha chalta hu dua ho main yaad rakhna are kya hai nahi ye sab nahi chahiye like what sort of destruct dua ho main kya rakhna i am very pleased to be here with uh, a couple of people that i followed for a while and uh, i've been meaning to speak to them for a bit and i'm very happy that this has came to pass so please everyone help me welcome to the show for the very first time Abhi a new, Abhi a new. Welcome. Hi, hi, hi everyone. Hi. hi everyone. Hi everyone. So, what language are we going to conduct this in? Are we going to talk in English, Hindi? Like we are comfortable in both. Just wanted to understand. Like, okay. So generally, what we do, it, it really depends. You know, it's it's the podcast generally ends up being sort of a English podcast, a little bit Hindi, a little bit English here and there thrown in. So I can do whatever language is more comfortable for you. No issues on my end. Same, same here. Like we are also comfortable okay. in both. So, however, okay. the conversation generally flows. Perfect. So, tell me a little bit, you know, about yourselves. And you know, I I know the YouTube Abhi and you, obviously, mm-hmm. as does the rest of the world. What did you guys do before YouTube? Like, how did the journey towards YouTube start for the both of you? So it was it was a big coincidence actually that. Uh, we were when we were uh, i mean when we just started uploading content regularly we were majorly on instagram and facebook so we were not really on youtube oh. because we were traveling all the time and to upload on three different platforms was a big task for example we were yeah. in ladakh and uh, over there the internet is terrible i mean you can stream things over there you can watch videos over there but it's literally impossible to upload anything from there be it a small instagram photo which is like a 1 or 2 mb in size so it was really difficult and at that point of time uh, when i came back in mumbai i watched your video it was a video about article 370 and i thought that we okay. should have a longish format uh, uh, video where we can just talk about things where we can discuss things that matter to us the some observations about uh, everything and then we started with a vlog but to come back to your question that what did we do before abhi and new the youtube channel started so uh, essentially i'm from a film making background i have studied media and oh. uh, yeah so i was essentially making videos all my life it's just that i was making videos for clients before this and i thought sure. that i need to have a voice of my own i need to make videos about things that matter to me and uh, that's how this entire content creation journey started so maybe you can Yeah and I uh, I'm an accountant by qualification so I qualified and I was working in a startup and then I decided I want to quit it and I want to uh do freelance writing so that's why I quit okay. and then after we got married Abhi said come uh, be in be with me in the videos as well so that's how my journey began <laughs> it began when he was like wow. like I was holding the camera he took the camera from me flipped it and said okay you're on camera now and I was like Uh, yeah so so when she went say something yeah. say something entertaining <laughs> yes. yeah so literally it was like that i mean uh, when we were recording <laughs> she was literally acting like a tripod at that point of time and she was not expecting oh, to wow. be on the camera but then we just thought that it will be interesting if there are two presenters it will appeal to both the yeah. demographics so then that's how it started yeah. initially it was just like a cameo of hers 
because the people from her side of the family used to look forward to her cameos i mean long back before we started uploading videos regularly this one video had gone viral on facebook where i spoke about mumbai locals and over there okay. uh, she was not supposed to be in that video but i was just shooting something uh, looking into the camera and she was standing behind me and so many people noticed her from her family then i just thought that it's a good idea to win some brownie points with her family <laughs> just by including her so then that's always a good idea to win brownie points there yeah so how was the how was the initial sort of you, you guys started with vlogs right were yeah, you, sort of <laughs> was it always comf- sorry yeah. go ahead there were a mix of vlog and informative content about travel so uh, basically when we started okay, if you uh, if i go back to 2017 uh, i had this idea that every month i will take a break from my work i will travel to a new place and i will ask everybody this simple question that what is your definition of love and that's why i called the mm. facebook page as following love because that was the first uh. idea that was in my mind that i will go to everybody and i will keep asking them what is your definition of love so i was inspired by mm. these two channels one is nas daily and the other one was humans of new york so humans of new york had mm. this series going on on facebook uh, which was a video series which was like this very similar to their uh, posts but just in a video format so i was really inspired by the a kind of conversations that they would have over there so i thought why not do something like that for india but that idea completely right. flopped because when i asked this question up front to people uh, i had gone to uh, uh, dharamsala and over there i asked people what is your definition of love on the very first day and they go like mm. my definition of love is travel and they had like only one word answers for everything so i thought this will not make oh. good content so my first idea mm. flopped on day one so then the content evolved and i sort of learned what is working for me what is not working for me then we came up with this series called 100 reasons to love india before that before i reach mm. there there is one interesting anecdote between me uploading the content and then uh, st- starting 100 reasons to love india a very important incident happened in my life and that that's uh, our marriage so we got married between okay. that and uh, when we got married we were going for a honeymoon in uh, europe in germany and austria so at that point of time new thought that why not pitch it to different different uh, travel agencies over there at that point of time we had around 10000 facebook likes uh, and uh, 2000 right. instagram followers and no presence on youtube at all but at that point of time just through cold emails she got a few people interested they did not pay us anything but they managed to sponsor a, like a small leg of our journey so uh, oh, we filmed wow. that as well and then we started 100 reasons to love india which was basically the time where we started going a little bit viral where people started finding us where we got right. our little bit of fame over there this was just before the pandemic and the whole idea of right. 100 reasons to love india was the same that a lot of times at least at that point of time most of the content that we would come across on the internet was very negative about india it felt like there is mm. nothing good that can happen in this country and we did not want to we, we did not want the indian youth to have that sort of an impression that nothing good can come out of this country yeah. and that's why we started 100 reasons to love india and the whole objective was we will finish this entire series and then people will be like are aapne ye miss kar diya aapne wo miss kar liya yani there are at <laughs> right. least 100 things to love about india it's just that it does not strike them or we tend to miss them you know there is this movie called right. uh, the secret life of walter mitty if the audience has not watched it hmm. they must watch it and there is a line over there that beautiful things don't ask for attention so when we were traveling mm. we came across so many beautiful things that were sort of unnoticed they did not ask for right. attention but that did not mean that they were not beautiful so that was the whole sure. journey about interesting were you guys uh, were the both of you kind of when you started making these vlogs and making these videos were you both sort of comfortable on camera oh, no. or was it like a learning <laughs> process for you guys no 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 it was a learning process before when we started i was super monotonous and robotic i'd be like yes so we went to munich and we saved money this is how you can save money so if you watch the earlier videos yeah. i sound like a robot but then eventually gradually i started getting comfortable 
both of us can't sort yeah. of like tolerate looking at our older videos because we look at them and we're like eh, this is so cringe we sound like idiots <laughs> so that's a good sign that shows that we're continuously evolving so yeah it was it was very similar for me as well my mom always told me well you're a narcissist so you'll be fine on camera <laughs> but uh, it, it took me a while as well it, you know the, the first couple of videos that i made that i watched and i'm like oh my god kon hai ye gada but then you know i still watch my videos and i still think the same thing kon hai ye gada but uh, but that's fine but maybe i'll get over it one day no but does um, that happen to the, how do you guys does that happen to the newest that? videos or does that happen to the older videos no that's what my father says when i watch his, when he watch, watches my videos these days he's like kon hai ye gada <laughs> but uh, other than that generally i'm i'm getting you know i've i've obviously reached a level of comfort with it and uh, you know i find it easier much easier to record now than i did even like a couple of years ago uh, how do you guys you know how do you guys pick topics for videos what's your process of picking topics for videos because i want to come to a specific part of our discussion because i get a lot of questions on youtube you know people are like okay aap content kaise banate ho hum log youtube channel kaise shuru kare and all that and i want to come to that discussion but i want to start with here because i think there's a few things we need to check off before we reach that discussion especially because topic selection is a big part of you know what makes a successful video or not so successful correct, videos correct. and particularly your videos that do quite well you know the topics are always look like there's a lot of thought put behind the topics so talk to us a little bit about that process like what is your process of selecting a topic how much time do you spend on it uh actually it depends i mean both of us are two individuals there was a right. cat jumping from one room to another <laughs> okay so both of us are different individuals and although we've been together i mean we've been married for over 5 years almost 6 years now right. and uh, we've been dating for more than 12 years so uh, oh wow yeah so yeah 12 years so uh, we've been together but still we had a life before that we had a different upbringing and we had different careers right. so both of our approaches of looking at topics is completely different so whenever somebody asks us that how do we divide work between the two of us then i have a very simple answer which is i uh, take care of what is due today and she looks after tomorrow so she is majorly oh, in charge of what is coming in long term and i am majorly in charge of what has to go today so that's what that's okay. how we divide our work and that's how topics come to us as well i mean a lot of times she will spend a lot of time researching about a particular topic i mean just to give you an example last year we made a video about urban floods and uh, it worked mm. really well i was not that confident mm. about that topic because usually whenever we talk about the environment people are not really uh, keen about listening to something related to the environment but a lot sure. of times that has our real life experience has been completely the opposite in some cases because, because right. the people have loved the content so much but it took so long for her to work on it work on it and actually reach the concluding part uh, she actually right. goes through a lot of research papers and uh, does her research so that's her process my process is more opinion based whenever i am curious about something whenever i have a strong opinion about something i feel that it's my duty to put my thoughts out there because after making right. so many videos i feel that i can be articulate with my thoughts at times but i can be so if i can be articulate with my thoughts then i feel that nobody is special if something is coming to my mm. mind then probably there are 10000 people out there who are thinking about the exact same thing at the exact same time so if that's true then it may be relatable to them so it's my moral mm. duty to put my word out there because i believe that i am a responsible creator i believe that after my watching right. our videos nobody is going to go on the streets and riot or kill anybody so if through <laughs> the videos people can articulate their thoughts if they can get some sort of right. catharsis through the videos then i feel it's my mm. duty to do that job yeah that's that's the process right. yeah just just a note to all the viewers i i'm really not bored sleepy or distracted we have three kittens <laughs> they are running around everywhere and i am just watching to make sure they don't jump on the lights they don't jump on us <laughs> and they don't like knock the camera down so that's why i am looking around everywhere yeah, it's yeah. because we and and we appreciate your vigilance <laughs> thank you <laughs> so 
I am not sleepy because yeah. I'm certainly people are going to be like, "Hey, kitty, bore lag rahi hai. Isko need nahi. I'm like, "Nahi, isko interest nahi." No, I'm that might be the host's fault. No, at the end of the day, I'll get blamed. Ki shaam yar bore karna band kar niyu ko please. Um, so whenever so. it's interesting having like two creators on a platform right that share responsibility for content because when if if there's a one person creator channel like me at the end of the day what i says goes right um but with the two of you there i'm sure like you said you guys had different personalities you guys had different lives before you met each other even now i'm sure you have different opinions on a lot of things Absolutely. So whenever there's like I don't want to say the word clash the word clash is very hmm. like stark yeah. but maybe there's disagreement on a topic or okay how do we take this video how do we present this video how do you settle those differences um so we may have differences on the content the edit is something that he uh looks after entirely i think in all of these four or five years we've been creating content together shayad ek hi aisa video tha where i was like mujhe script acha nahi laga hai बाकी इफ आई फील लाइक कि कुछ ऐड करना है तो देन आई बी लाइक लेट्स स्लीप ओवर इट लेट्स थिंक अबाउट इट अ लिटिल मोर एंड वंस वी स्लेप्ट ओवर इट वी गेट अ लिटिल मोर टाइम टू थिंक अबाउट इट देन इट यूजली टर्न्स आउट फाइन और इफ आई फील कि मुझे कुछ ऐड करना है इसमें इफ आई वांट टू ऐड अ पैराग्राफ इफ आई वांट टू ऐड अ रिसर्च रिपोर्ट इफ आई फील इज मिस्ड समथिंग देन आई जस्ट ऐड इट एंड देन देयर द डिसएग्रीमेंट आई मीन व्हाटएवर There is no That's there is the no clash. Of the there's no clash. There's no kalesh. Sorry. Right. Yeah, I mean the the <laughs> there's no kalesh. no kalesh. Yeah, usually the kalesh is like sometimes I feel ki bus ho gaya is par bahut zada padke ho gaya. Now we need to execute it. Now <laughs> like the time is yeah. passing, so just let's let's finish it. Like I I have this belief right. that finished is better than perfect because perfectionism like we can we can never be a hundred percent perfect. Like we are not. <laughs> experts right. in any particular field and we don't claim to be experts in any particular field so a lot of times right. my way of looking at things is that we will make a video we will make mistakes we will make another video addressing those mistakes hmm. so but it's okay but right. the video has to go out so that's where the yeah. conflict comes in she feels give me one more day i feel i'm there i'm getting there give me one more day and i feel nahi abhi bahut ho gaya do mahine ho gaye ye video pe hi kaam ho raha hai I mean, she works on multiple videos simultaneously, so that's so yeah. yeah. So that's the extent of the uh, fights that we have. And as she said, that in all these years, there has been only one video where she, after the video was shot, she told me that this is the first video which I did where where I did not like your script at all. So, but that video mm. performed decently. It did not perform as much as uh, it should have, but it performed decently. Right. Yeah. So you were right, Neo. Yes, she was right. Like. That's the that's the secret to a happy married life that right. the wife is always right. Yeah. So I mean, and, that's and exactly. So, oh, you've nailed it, man! You've cracked the code. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so have you have you guys ever? You know, I, I I'm sure you guys have been asked this before, but do you guys ever? You, know, you look at the roster of your videos, huh. and do you see a video where you're like, man, I just love that video. Of course. I loved how everything about it that, turned so out. There are so many videos like that. A lot of times, these are not the videos that have the most views. Uh, a lot of times, mm. these are sort of underrated, uh, view, uh, underrated videos. Incidentally, today is yeah. uh, 13th of uh, February when we are recording this. I don't know when this uh, entire podcast will go out, but today is 13th of February, and exactly two years ago, I had released one of my favorite videos. It was about India's best love story. I oh. feel I feel it is subject uh, it, not subjectively. It is objectively India's best love story. And uh, if people right. have not watched it, please watch that video. It's the, just a five six minute long video. Uh, it has it it does not have a lot of views, but still has like one point six one point seven million views. So so. that that's one of my favorite videos because it's one of it's 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 a video about one of the tatas that very few people know about i don't want to spoil okay. it for a lot of people uh but then that's one of my favorite videos yeah i think one of my yeah. favorite videos i actually worked on a lot of scripts starting last year before that i used to do research for the videos and give him like research so i actually started scripting last year no but you can count so, the research videos as well. I know, also your videos. but I like the script videos more. So she right? is really comfortable in English. So yeah, I'm sorry. So that's why sorry a lot of times, I... no, a lot of times, no, she can speak in Hindi. हाँ मैं हिंदी बोल सकती हूँ मैं, but 
Right. I think in English. I'm sorry. A lot of people don't know this about her, but she's a South Indian, and I'm a Maharashtrian. Right. No, that doesn't mean I can't speak Hindi. I grew up in like we're from Mumbai. I'm go school me Hindi sikhai jati hai, so I can speak okay. perfect Mumbai or Hindi. हाँ, but ये ऐसे हमको वाली हिंदी है। हाँ, I know, it's like हमें वाली हिंदी है। It's like हमको, it's like I, I'll not say आपको क्या चाहिए very naturally, I'll be like हाँ, तुमको क्या चाहिए? हाँ, तुमको क्या चाहिए? तुझे क्या चाहिए? तुझे ऐसे ऐसे बोल देते हैं। हाँ, it's very, it's like I can, like I said, I can speak perfect Mumbai या हिंदी। Yeah, Mumbai या हिंदी। I, I, I'm not up to the standards of North Some, Indian, oh, Indian. Oh, yeah. The North. It's not. It's not. Well, my I'm technically I'm I'm from the North. I'm from Bihar, and my Hindi is a terrible pastiche of like Bihari Hindi and Delhi Hindi. Huh. So, like I feel like the worst two kinds of Hindi's. You know, <laughs> Bihari Hindi is like it, it's because my mother tongue is a language called Maghi. Yeah, I know. In Bihar, it's called Maghi, and so my mother tongue is Maghi, and so my Hindi takes a lot of words out of. Out of Maghi, so sometimes when I when I initially moved to be to Delhi, I remember I got bullied a lot in school because I was like, "ये बोल क्या रही है किस तरह की हिंदी बोलता है ये बंदा?" हाँ. And then slowly and steadily, as I lived in Delhi, I picked up more you know Delhi Hindi. So my Hindi also is 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 not very polished. It's a very sort of uh, horrible pastiche of Bihari and Delhi Hindi. Yeah. But a lot of times I wonder कि where is the original pure Hindi coming from? Because Hindi is such a hmm. language which has borrowed words from so uh, many other India, languages. India and Pixels will have an answer to that. I yeah, guess. India and Pixels. Ashish will have yeah, an sure. answer. Ashish will that. have an answer to that. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. If, Ashish, if you're watching this, then that's a that's that's a topic for a video then. There's a graph for you to work yeah, on. Yeah, no, that's we make you make a video on this now, <laughs> right? So, there you go. So back to my favorite <laughs> video scripts. I think. Uh, या नाम गोना टॉक इन हिंदी टू फ्लेक्स मुझे ये एक मेरा मैंने स्क्रिप्ट लिखी थी वो बहुत अच्छा लगा था काफी कि भारत में हीट वेव्स क्यों होते हैं हीट वेव्स क्या होते हैं और इससे भारत को क्या फर्क पड़ता है एंड वो पहली बार मैंने ऐसे स्क्रिप्ट लिखा था पूरे बहुत सारे रिसर्च रिपोर्ट्स पढ़ के आई मीन नासा के रिसर्च रिपोर्ट पढ़े थे मैंने काफी सारे अलग अलग इनपुट्स और इनसाइट उठाए थे नीति आयोग के रिपोर्ट्स वगैरह पढ़े थे एंड ओवरऑल मैंने स्क्रिप्ट पूरी लिखी थी एंड इसे इसे वो स्क्रिप्ट बहुत अच्छी लगी थी उसने ज़्यादा एडिट वगैरह किया नहीं था एंड द वीडियो आल्सो परफॉर्म वेरी वेल आई थिंक इट हैज ओवर टू मिलियन व्यूज एंड लॉट ऑफ पीपल एक्चुअली वो लाइक कि हाँ अभी हम लोग भी रूफ टॉप गार्डनिंग शुरू करेंगे टू कूल डाउन आ सिटी एंड वील फिगर आउट वॉट वी कैन डू टूवर्ड्स इट सो देन आई जेन्यूनली एन्जॉयड दैट बिकॉज इट वॉज समथिंग That had a combination की पहले तो हीट वेव क्या होते हैं वो समझाया था और फिर बाद में एक्शन लेना है तो फिर आप इंडिविजुअल लेवल पे क्या एक्शन ले सकते हो सोसाइटी लेवल पे क्या एक्शन ले सकते हो और पॉलिसी लेवल पे क्या एक्शन ले सकते हो तो ये सारी चीजें कंबाइंड थी सो इंटेलेक्चुअली राइट वर्ड मेरे को बहुत काफी सेटिस्फेक्शन मिला उसको अलग से मैं अपने स्क्रिप्ट्स पहले अच्छा, खुद लिखती हूँ और फिर बाद में इट गोज थ्रू हिम जस्ट फॉर रिफाइनमेंट एंड हिंदी चेकिंग या हिंदी चेकिंग रिफाइनमेंट एंड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स टू डम्ब थिंग्स डाउन एंड Because yeah, we are not calling our audience dumb. No, no, no. We are just We're calling, calling our audience dumb. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm glad you clarified yes, that. No, yes. but yeah. काफी बार अगर जैसे हमने एक वीडियो बनाया था on the functions of the Reserve Bank of India. No, so she comes so, from a finance background. Yeah, so whenever she writes stuff right. about finance, she goes into detail. Because I'm and a lot of so then, yeah. yeah. So we had she had written that video, we had shot that video, we had edited that video, and then right now we have an edit team. So. Uh, When hmm. I asked the question कि ये वीडियो देखकर क्या समझा तो फिर the people were blank तो I was like कि ये वीडियो आपको ऐसे पॉज करके करके अगर देखकर नहीं समझ रहा है तो फिर ऑडियंस को क्या ही समझेगा hmm. तो हम थोड़ा इसको स्लो डाउन yeah. करते हैं इसमें से ये पार्ट नहीं समझा उसको थोड़ा एक्सप्लेन करते हैं सो so, ऐसे करके थोड़ा सा रिफाइनमेंट हो जाता है बट मोस्ट प्रोबेबली अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स वी स्प्लिट द स्क्रिप्ट लाइक शी विल टेक अप वन टॉपिक आई विल टेक अप वन टॉपिक सो दैट्स हाउ वी डू इट या How do you guys, you know, because आप इतने different types के topics चुनते हो, you know, different types का content भी बनाते हो. How do you like? How do you do? You ever get, you know, I'm sure you do, but whenever you get any kind of negative feedback on your videos from the audience, how do you guys react to it? What's your response to it? हाँ, तो इसके ऊपर हमारा response हमने इसके बारे में बहुत सोचा कि क्या response होना चाहिए. 
और हमें काफी अच्छा वाला आंसर देने वाला तो इसमें कैसे होता है कि हमने <laughs> आ, nice. जो हमारा क्रिटिसिज्म या फिर हमें जो फीडबैक होता है उसको हमने चार कैटेगरीज में डिवाइड किया ठीक है उसको हमने okay. वैसे बोला जाए तो अगेन द कैट हाँ सो देर इज ग्रीन येलो ऑरेंज सो ग्रीन येलो ऑरेंज एंड रेड सो ऐसे चार कैटेगरीज में हमने डिवाइड किया है ग्रीन फीडबैक इज कंस्ट्रक्टिव क्रिटिसिज्म कि कभी म्यूजिक थोड़ा लाउड हो गया है तो ठीक है टेक इन कि कभी फास्ट hmm. हो गया है यानी जब हम शुरुआत में वीडियो बनाते थे तो एक तो हम इंग्लिश में बनाते थे और मैं बहुत ही ज्यादा फास्ट बोलता था बहुत ज्यादा कैमरा मूवमेंट्स वगैरह होते थे तो फिर बहुत सारे ऐसे फिफ्टी प्लस लोगों ने मुझे बताना स्टार्ट किया कि टॉपिक्स अच्छे होते हैं लेकिन बहुत फास्ट होता है समझ में नहीं आता कि एक लाइन होने तक दूसरा लाइन आ जाता तो ये थोड़ा एक कंस्ट्रक्टिव क्रिटिसिज्म जैसे हो गया यानी जब पहली बार पढ़ा तो फिर पढ़ते वक्त ऐसे ऐसे ही डिफेंसिव ही मैं होने लगा दैट तू तू जरा फास्ट hmm. देख ना मुझे क्यों बोल रहा है कि मेरा वीडियो फास्ट है <laughs> तू देख ले फास्ट थोड़ा तेरा खुद इम्प्रूव right. ऐसे ये इनिशियल रिएक्शन यही रहता है बट आफ्टरवर्ड्स लाइक वी कैन गो बैक टू इट अगेन एंड सी सम सॉर्ट ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्टिव क्रिटिसिज्म आउट ऑफ इट ठीक है द सेकेंड वन इज येलो यू नो सो येलो आर पीपल हु हमने अगर बोला है तो फिर वो बोलते हैं गिटार इज नॉट द बेस्ट इंस्ट्रूमेंट पियानो इज द बेस्ट इंस्ट्रूमेंट तो उनका जो पर्टिकुलर एक्सपीरियंस है वो अलग है तो उसके वजह से उनके ओपिनियंस अलग है सो वी कैन अग्री टू डिस विद देम कि हाँ ठीक है व्हेन व्हेन आई व्हेन आई टॉक अबाउट स्कूल माय डेफिनेशन ऑफ स्कूल एंड हर डेफिनेशन ऑफ स्कूल इज डिफरेंट अल्दो वी वर इन द सेम सिटी योर डेफिनेशन ऑफ स्कूल इज गोइंग टू बी कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट तो हर एक के डेफिनेशन right. अलग अलग हो सकते हैं एंड वी रिस्पेक्ट दैट तो फिर वो येलो हो गया ठीक है ऑरेंज hmm. हो गया वो वैसे वाला फीडबैक होता है जो थोड़ा सा चुभता है आई मीन इट इज मोर अबाउट द इट इज स्टिल अबाउट द कॉन्टेंट बट इट हैज अ लॉट टू डू विद द टॉपिक एंड नॉट अबाउट द कॉन्टेंट इट सेल्फ आई मीन सपोज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट से राम मंदिर और वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इवन द इन्वायरमेंट फॉर दैट मैटर एनी टॉपिक कैन ट्रिगर पीपल नाउ इट इज सो देन एनी थिंग दैट कैन ट्रिगर पीपल दैट गेट्स इन टू द ऑरेंज कैटेगरी and uh, the red one is like personal comments i mean if somebody is making like we had uh, made a video about pan masala and uh, i have hyperpigmentation in my teeth which means that some part hmm. of my teeth is extremely white and in comparison the other part of my teeth looks yellow so then people kept asking hmm. ki aap kab se pan kha rahe ho aapne bhi pan khaya na ye karte ho just like right. personal comments it doesn't bother me so much right. but it bothers women a lot so then you can yeah we made a video about sugar ki hamare cheezon mein sare khadya padhartho mein ha shabash now now nobody is going to tell you you can't speak hindi abhi khadya padhartho mein bahut sara shakkar hota hai bahut sara so shakkar ya chini shakkar the correct word is shakkar okay chini is because we lost the technique to make sugar and then we had to take it from the chinese who learned it from us hence it's called chini because cheen se i was like that is that true yeah that's, that that's true? what i read somewhere so oh, it's a whatsapp university ka knowledge hai it's called shakkar shakkar is the correct word for that derived from yeah. sanskrit so so ha shakkar correct yeah. correct correct she is correct my wife is always really correct nailed it nailed it new वो शुगर वाले वीडियो में काफी सारे कमेंट्स ऐसे ही थे कि सो काफी सारे कमेंट्स ऐसे थे कि न्यू को देख के लगता है कि उसे बहुत बड़ा स्वीट टूथ है बट दैट्स अ लाई आई डोंट हैव अ वेरी बिग स्वीट टूथ आई डोंट इफ यू टेल मी कि कुछ मीठा है तो देन आई आई मे नॉट इवन ईट इट सो That's right. that's what it is. So, this is complete and abject failure of understanding women's anatomy and biology and right. stuff like that. Yeah. So, so these personal comments are pers- like the red so, ones. So the personal ah. comments are like there'll be an attack on stuff like your weight, your appearance, your dark circles. ऐसे सारी चीजें जो आप बदल नहीं सकते. मतलब आपको कोई आके बोलेगा कि हाँ ठीक है आप मोटे हो गए तो फिर I'm like हाँ तो मैं क्या करूँ अभी like अभी पंद्रह second में मैं exercise zero बन सकती हूँ क्या नहीं हो सकता ना 
तो क्यों चर्चा कर रहे हो आप सो दैट दैट्स हाउ इट इज दोस कमेंट्स आर रियली नॉट वर्थ एंगेजिंग डजंट मीन दे डोंट हर्ट बट देन इट्स नॉट वर्थ एंगेजिंग सो ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ क्रिटिक्स हाउ डू यू गाइस या या हाउ डू यू गाइस सो पर्टिकुलरली विद लाइक ऑरेंज एंड रेड बिकॉज़ आई नो द ग्रीन वंस कंस्ट्रक्टिव क्रिटिसिज्म आई एम श्योर यू नो आई गेट देम ऑन माय चैनल आल्सो एंड आई ट्राई टू मेक श्योर की ओके I take it into account. Like this is not a comment on you as a content creator. It's just correct, a comment correct. to help you get better, right? And uh, so those I completely understand. But when it comes to like orange and red, yeah. like how do you guys deal deal with those? Like do you just read it and you're like, okay, let's just move on, try to forget it, or how do you guys deal with? So that? ideally, the best way to deal with them is to ignore them. It is to ignore mm. them because uh, if you feed the mm. wrong wolf, then it will just grow in size. Yeah. So we we believe mm. that it's better to encourage the ninety nine percent people who have something positive to say. The best way to deal with criticism is to ignore it. But we have that missing mm. missing tile syndrome that if ninety nine percent people are agreeing with you, but one person is disagreeing with you, then you will spend all yeah. of your energies to convince that person that how. he is yeah. uh, taking us in a wrong way like we don't mean it that way like we have good intentions we are good people we are heroes of the story we are not the villains so we yeah. we spend all mm. of our energies into convincing that person this but then the best way to do it is to ignore it because when the the problem yeah. with social media is that you can't respond to firstly you can't read the comments in the tone the tone is always missing it's that's the problem with mm. text that the tone the intention the age of the person everything is missing so a, yeah. a hurtful comment coming from a 14 year old and a hurt, hurtful comment coming from a 40 year old is completely different in terms of weightage but when we read it we don't understand we don't get the context so it's the best way right. to do deal with it is to ignore it unless it's something that's really bothering us but new yeah no i mean it's it's new really fights with them Yeah, I. Yeah, I try not. Bara, bara. I try not to. <laughs> <laughs> bara, bara. I, try not to. <laughs> I mean, she has literally uh, went on. She has literally gone on DMs and told people that they are talking about their big brothers. Yeah. So then right. I was. I had this one phase where I used to fight with them. Then I had the second phase. Then I realized that being like a parlor wali auntie or like, uh, your area wali auntie is like the best strategy to be like. ऐसे ऐसे बात करते हैं नहीं आप वो पोजिशन में नहीं हो कि आप उन्हें बैक आंसर करो या फिर आप उनसे रूडली बात करो क्योंकि Yeah. In that situation, you have everything to lose, and they have nothing to lose with that. You know, they will just shit yeah. in your DMs and then go. But then, आपका मूड खराब हो जाता है. आपको लगता है कि बाप रे इतना सारा गुस्सा है जिसका मैं कुछ नहीं कर सकती अभी. And yeah. आप उनको कुछ बता भी दोगे तो फिर वो उसका पूरा बतंगड़ बना देंगे. And the internet is so amazing with cancelling people. So then, it's a lot of like tension. So like you said, the best strategy is to ignore. Yeah. The best But- strategy is to ignore. Yeah. yeah the the but the worst kind of criticism does not fall into these uh, four lights four colors at all it's like oh, really? criticism which has a hint of truth in it like it may not be 100% mm. true but it has a hint of truth and right. you know it and when somebody puts the same comment that this video could have been better <laughs> or you should have said that or you missed that then it hurts yeah. it really hurts really bad and it takes days or at least a few good videos which are 10 times better than that to uh, you know brush it off yeah so yeah. it it doesn't heal yeah. that quickly so even after so many videos whenever like we are hoping like last 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 year we made a video about the post uh, uh, india post and we thought that this is a really interesting story that how pin code was invented and uh, mm. we thought it's a very interesting story and people would be interested in knowing, knowing it but then it was it did not perform really well it bombed for that man and it really hurt it took a few good videos to over uh, to overcome that to failure overcome yeah. That. yeah i wanted to ask you this as well because you get, you guys are kind of you guys are prominent youtubers and you know you've been named in like forbes list and stuff like that have you ever had any negative blowback from the media Yes we do uh, we do get uh, negative blowback all the time 
not all the time it's uh, but, but at least a few times in a year so uh, it happens <laughs> and a lot of times it's again not justified because it's usually some snapshot from a tweet taken out of context or oh, yeah. nowadays uh, there are lots of yes. uh, online news portals or uh, not portals online uh, news channels as well and 99% of the time they are very supportive but whenever mm. they see some some hot topic they want to uh, you know ride the wave and they want to use the name to get some sort of fame into their channel so it's it's a part sure. it's a part and parcel of the job so it really hurts at that particular time i mean uh, i hmm. feel last to last year uh, have you ever felt the need to like respond to any of that i feel it's better not to i feel i mean we are that sort of people yeah. uh, like we will do our job we will go go home and sleep it off then if some controversy is happening we will discuss about it in between each other but it's just better right. not to give them the pleasure of any sort of response because then we keep them right. wondering whether this is bothering us or not rather than giving them right. the pleasure of a reaction like when whenever somebody wants to make you angry there if you respond to them it's their victory but if you don't then they keep wondering right. has this even reached them that's that's fun yeah <laughs> that's fun that is fun i suppose yeah um so you know discussing all of those things brings me to the topic that i wanted to also ask your opinion on because i'm sure you get a lot of comments about this i've gotten a few comments about this as well that hey sham you know we're very interested in starting like a social media channel or a youtube channel and things like that and uh i want to make a i want to be a big successful youtuber how do i do that and first thing i tell them don't talk to me i'm not a big successful youtuber talk to the bigger successful youtubers but the second thing i tell them uh you know I, i i can tell you what i tell them in a in a second but what kind of advice would you have for people that are like okay i want to make a social media presence in 2024 don't do it <laughs> my my advice to anybody who wants to be a content creator is not to be a content creator because most of the times right. people want to be a content creator for the mm-hmm. exact wrong reasons now one like we've been very fortunate to start off at a time where content creation was not overly glamorized like i absolutely did not have any content creator hero from india in front of my eyes that i could literally mm. copy i mean there were people that i would admire but it they would just be people whom i would spot somewhere and be like hey, hey isko ke de- dekha hai uske sath ja kar selfie mm. lene jitna wo bade hue nahi the tab tak बट अभी कैसे हो गया है दैट अभी द होल कंटेंट क्रिएशन इंडस्ट्री हैज बिकम अ मिनियचर वर्जन ऑफ बॉलीवुड अरे एलविज भाई क्या आगे कोई बोल सकता है क्या लाइक इफ यू आस्क एनीबॉडी दे वांट टू बी अ यूट्यूबर दे डोंट नो व्हाट दे वांट टू टॉक अबाउट बट दे जस्ट वांट टू बी अ यूट्यूबर बिकॉज़ दे सी अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एवरीथिंग ओवर हियर they see good money they see good fame they see success and they see quick success what else does a person want mm. they see every every recipe for success over there but nobody knows the struggles nobody knows what goes behind like just before this conversation i told you that what's happening in my life and yeah. it's absolutely yeah. impossible for me to explain it to anybody who has not gone through this situation only the person and you and the, the important thing is abhi that you have ownership of it you know you can't hand this problem off to somebody else yeah, you can't. this is your problem you have to yeah. deal with it there's no company yeah. coming I mean, to help you people like it's so difficult ye content create karna kafi mushkil hota hai kyunki aapko lagta hai ki aap kuch aur karoge kisi ko dekh ke but wo utna aasan nahi hota fir aap को धीरे धीरे बिहाइंड द सीन्स जाके पता चलता है कि आपने जो फ्री पार्सल उनके स्टोरीज में देखा था उसके पीछे की सच्चाई क्या है वो बड़े बड़े इवेंट्स yeah. जहाँ पे सारे क्रिएटर्स जाते हैं उसकी सच्चाई क्या है uh, उनको <laughs> जो भी सारे एकोलेट्स और सक्सेस और फेम फेम जो आपके नज़रों में मिलता है उसके पीछे का राज क्या होता है एंड फिर देन इट डजेंट लुक ऑल टूगेदर दैट रोजी और ग्लैमरस एनी मोर एंड आई मीन दिस इज नॉट जस्ट फॉर दिस इज फॉरगेट कॉन्टेंट क्रिएटर्स बट even like i don't think people really understand it that even uh, kans wagera aise koi festival mein koi actor wagera bhi ja rahe hain fir met gala and all that wo kapde wo khareedte nahi yeah. hain wo wo jo bhi kapde <laughs> pehnte hain wo designer se borrow karte hain aur fir wo dry clean karke unhe wapas lotana padta hai 
तो वो भी उनके कपड़े नहीं होते हैं वो डिजाइनर्स उन्हें लैंड करते हैं ताकि उनके कपड़े शोकेज हो सो इस सो आप जो देख रहे हो वो काफी एक क्यूरेटेड वर्जन ऑफ रियलिटी होती है इट्स अ फसाड इसके पीछे जो आपको मेहनत करनी पड़ती है जो आपको रखड़ना पड़ता है वो कोई नहीं दिखाता नहीं और बताते भी है तो फिर भी उसका एक ग्लैमराइज वर्जन बताते हैं ना यानी इन द सेंस व्हेन पीपल शो व्हेन पीपल टेल द स्टोरी दे विल टेल द स्टोरी वेयर द लॉजिकल कंक्लूजन हैज बीन रीच्ड वेयर दे हैव ऑलरेडी ओवरकम देयर व्हाटएवर प्रॉब्लम्स दे वर हैविंग एंड देन दे विल टेल द स्टोरी सो इट विल ऑलवेज हैव अ हैप्पी एंडिंग बट राइट नाउ व्हेन अ पर्सन इज गोइंग थ्रू दैट सिचुएशन इट्स इंपॉसिबल फॉर देम टू एक्सप्लेन व्हाट इट इज there are multiple problems that creators face something like imposter syndrome that every day if a video is successful there is a pressure ki agla video isse zyada better hona chahiye if a video is not successful yeah. aise question dimag mein aata hi hai ki am i finished is the best part of my career behind me aur ye jo question hota hai ye har din agar aapko face karna pade so that's too much so it's, that is literally too much for you it's a lot and of pressure and one thing one very important hmm. thing that everybody who wants to be a content creator needs to know is that this field is so new that nobody has successfully retired from this career so you don't know whether right. this field is going to be there for the next 40 years or the next 400 years or the next 4 years there is so much uncertainty yeah. over there that you will be putting all of your eggs in the same basket if you don't yeah. know why you want to do it first you need to figure out why do you want to create a content and you need to reach that sort of desperation ki bhai abhi mujhe cliff tak main pahunch gaya hu abhi mujhe kudna hi hai piche se kuch aisa aa raha hai ki mere paas dusra choice hi nahi hai ki mujhe kood kar hi figure out karna hai ki kya mujhe udna aayega ya nahi jab tak aap us stage tak nahi pahunchte na तब तक कंटेंट क्रिएशन को आप उतना सीरियसली नहीं लोगे कि आपको दिल से आवाज आएगी कि जो भी प्रॉब्लम्स आ रहे हैं दे आर वर्थ इट एंड यू विल गिव अप यूजुअली दैट्स व्हाट हैपेंस दैट पीपल इधर पीपल फिगर आउट व्हाट वर्क्स फॉर देम और दे गिव अप ऑन द वे देर इज नो अदर वे ऑफ डूइंग इट इफ यू गिव इट इनफ टाइम एंड अ लॉट ऑफ एफर्ट यू विल बी सक्सेसफुल एंड दीज पैरामीटर्स ऑफ सक्सेस विल बी वेरी डिफरेंट लाइक आप देखोगे आप आपके जैसा कोई एक कंटेंट क्रिएटर होगा जिसको मिलियंस ऑफ व्यूज मिल रहे होंगे जिसको सारे वो अपॉर्चुनिटीज मिल रहे होंगे जो आपको चाहिए अभी इन्फॉर्मेटिव कंटेंट की बात करें तो आई एंगेज विद लॉट ऑफ पीपल इन डीएम्स उनके वीडियोस देखती हूँ उन्हें सजेशन वगैरह देती हूँ तो फिर काफी लोग बोलते हैं कि अभी इंस्टाग्राम पे इतने टाइम से कॉमेंट कॉन्टेंट बना रहे हैं तो क्यों कोई व्यूज नहीं आ रहे क्यों ये नहीं हो रहा है and i don't really have an answer for them ki chal kyun nahi raha hai itne sare videos banane ke baad bhi but it's just a grind wo grind yeah. and you never know it's the luck of the draw shayad logo ko aapki shakal hi achhi nahi lagi shayad aap <laughs> no literally that is, that is totally possible in showbiz in showbiz there are so many things that are not in your hands like some oh yeah like maybe oh, yeah. you have a an annoying voice like you then you can't dream of being a content creator these are things that are not fixable right. yeah. so aise ho sakta hai it could be that in spite of doing whatever you're doing aapki audio theek nahi aa rahi hogi ha aapka content hi interesting nahi hoga aise bahut sare reasons hai and i i can't tell people ki nahi aapka sahi nahi ja raha hai when there are others right. jinka kaam chal raha hai jo kafi acche se grow kar rahe hain so so remove remove all all the the glitz glitz and and glamour. glamour. my my advice to everybody yeah. would be remove all the glitz and glamour. Remove ki aapke favorite creator ne kaun si gaadi le li, uska life kaise must ja hai, wo sab hata do. Yeah. Wo sab bhi, agar aapko pura din बारह अठारह घंटे के लिए रखड़ना है और उसके बाद आपकी फैमिली छोड़कर कोई नहीं वो वीडियो देखने वाली इस चीज के लिए इस डेस्परेशन के लिए ये ये लेवल तक पहुंचने के लिए अगर आप रेडी हो तो फिर हाँ तो फिर जरूर करो बिकॉज ओनली देन यू विल लर्न टू हाउ टू इम्प्रूव योर सेल्फ देन स्लोली यू विल फिगर आउट द आंसर्स टू ऑल ऑफ योर क्वेश्चन कि अगर मेरा वॉइस अनोइंग है तो फिर विदाउट मेरा वॉइस यूज किए मैं कैसे कॉन्टेंट बना सकता हूँ ये काफी सब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन hmm. होते हैं जो हर एक को आंसर करने पड़ते हैं उसके जवाब yeah. जो है वो आप ही को ढूंढने दिस इज अ वेरी लोनली जर्नी like no matter hmm. no matter how many people come to you and say that they are your biggest fans they will click a selfie with you but ultimately you hmm. are a furniture to them like just the way people go oh, for yeah. window shopping and they try out stuff 
it's the same way it's the same way for every creator as well and the worst part of being a creator is that these are not clothes that you can take off when you go home all these thoughts mm. positive and negative they come with you they are like that vital jo yeah. aapke peet par baitha hi rehta to ye jo sari cheeze they stick with you yeah so ye sari cheeze jaati yeah. nahi hai but one last thing that i would love to say is whenever like if somebody is asking ki kya karna chahiye ye sawal hi galat hai ये पूछो कि इसके बुरे साइड्स क्या अगर आप उसके बुरे साइड्स को टैकल कर सकते हो देन यू कैन सस्टेन ओवर ह्योर यू सी इट्स इट्स नॉट लाइक अ वन नाइट स्टैंड ये कंटेंट क्रिएशन जो इंडस्ट्री होती है वो एक वन नाइट स्टैंड नहीं होती वो एक लॉन्ग टर्म रिलेशनशिप होती है वो शादी के जैसे होती है कि जब आपका उसका हनीमून फेज खत्म हो जाता जब आपका जो मोमेंट ऑफ वायरलिटी जो क्विक फेम की फैमिली ने देखा व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप में फॉरवर्ड हुआ वो जो हनीमून फेज खत्म हो जाता है उसके बाद वाला जो पोर्शन होता है उसको अगर आप सस्टेन कर सकते हो तो ही इसमें This is a very deep and yeah. long answer. I hope this maintains the ethos. Of- no, and it's a good answer because I think you know this is this is the part that people don't get to hear. You know, they get to hear, like you said, they get to hear all the fun stuff. कि ये गाड़ी खरीदी, ये घर खरीदा, ये हम लोग USA में घूम रहे हैं, vlog बनाते हैं USA का. You see all the fun stuff, all the cool stuff about being a creator. You don't see all the shit stuff about being a creator. Mm-hmm. you know ki aapka video tank kar gaya and you're thinking shit is my is my channel going to survive you know yeah. and it, it it is a real feeling that i bet you even the biggest creators have yeah of course and of course. Uh, when you're a smaller creator that that feeling is a lot more intense yeah. Yeah, yeah indeed indeed and that's exactly what i do on my linkedin i was like ki main thoda dimag meri mera aisa satak gaya hai ki sab log itna positively bol rahe hai i was like यहाँ पे लोग उनका ग्लैम अप सेट कर रहे हैं और यहाँ पे मुझे रोना आ रहा है कि मेरे से स्क्रिप्ट लिखा नहीं जा रहा है आई एम लाइक मैं यही भड़ास लिंक्डइन पे निकालूंगी मैं मैं सबको बताऊंगी कि मत करो ये <laughs> या ये कितना डिफिकल्ट होता है सो देन दैट दैट वी आर प्रॉपर डी इन्फ्लुएंसर्स या आई एम डी आई एम अ डी वी आर वी आर वेरी पॉजिटिव अबाउट इंडिया बट वी आर नॉट दैट पॉजिटिव अबाउट द इंडस्ट्री और एट लीस्ट द रूट दैट इट्स टेकिंग राइट नाउ राइट Then yeah, no, it's true. I think a reality check is always important, right? It's ne log kud padte hain and they get so disappointed why they're not overnight famous. Yeah. This is just not how it works, yar. Even you know, I've been doing this for almost four five years now, and uh, it, it's a grind every single day. Correct. It really is. Um. So let me ask you guys. I, I know Neil that you you enjoy reading a lot. Um. Do you is do you have a favorite genre that you like reading? Um. It's changed over the years. I always love reading mysteries and thrillers because uh, a good yeah. mystery, a good thriller, is uh, can really you know spark your imagination. I also one of my favorite series is um, the series. It's an epic fantasy that's a lot more complicated than Harry Potter. So I love it. So uh, yeah. yeah. So then I read those. But what actually happened was that. um in 2022 in january i got covid and one of the uh, it was omicron so naseeb se aise kuch uh, hospital wagera jaane ki naubat nahi aayi thi but one of now the now she is just flexing why naubat nahi aayi thi ana utni nahi aati hai insane yaar. immune system yeah so but one of the side effects of that was that for me i had brain fog for almost 3 months so oh really yeah i did i, I could not read a paragraph without like closing my eyes and being like ye kya likha hai yahan pe ye kya likha hai which was like the worst yeah. thing ever for me that happened to me and for him it was like a lot of lack of body strength and stuff like that and he is quite he, uh-huh. he's he is quite fit so then he he found it very difficult to lift weights and for me consequently was a mm. complete lack of comprehension so after mm. that i got so scared of reading a full book कि मुझे समझ ही नहीं आएगा कि लिखा क्या है यहाँ पे बिकॉज मैं वीडियोस hmm. देखती थी कभी कभी और फिर मैं पॉज करके खुद को सवाल पूछती थी कि ये वीडियो इज दिस नॉट अ गुड वीडियो और हैव आई बिकम टू स्टूपेड टू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड इट या आई मीन आई हैव वॉचड वीसॉस वीडियोस जॉनी हैरिस वीडियोज एंड पॉज एंड आई बिन लाइक आई डोंट नो इफ दिस इज अ बैड वीडियो और आई डोंट नो आई माई कॉग्नेटिव अबिलिटी इज डिमिनिश्ड सो दैट इज हाउ इट इज आई हैव स्लोली स्टार्टेड रीडिंग अगेन now recently because i got over whatever the brain fog it was so now it's a mix of well, non fiction and fiction as well no but yeah. what we do is at nights i read to her 
so uh, i read oh no yeah. his so uh, i read in uh, hindi or uh, marathi so then i read marathi books to her so then yeah oh cool yeah. so then that's what we do and i know that you you enjoy playing uh, console games right abhi yes, i yes, think yes. i saw that in a q and a somewhere both of us both of us um are you both you both do yeah yeah uh, what's your what's your favorite uh, current game you for both of you so we play a lot of triple a titles so uh, uh mm. we, like right now since last two years we've been playing elden ring so we are uh, we play uh, a oh lot my god why would you do that to yourself no we finished it <laughs> we finished it oh, you finished yeah, it? yeah we finished it Man, it's not uh, so i sucked at it no there was there was a harder game called sekiro yeah. so sekiro is an oh, even, yeah, too, it's yeah. it's a it's it's even harder because uh, at least uh, elden ring is an rpg so over there yeah. you can choose you can choose how difficult you actually want it to be and you can always grind and farm you and you can level your up builds and so, you can hack it in different ways you can't i mean you can choose okay. a mage build and then just zing 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 I think my problem was I kept charging into the main bosses like right away. Yeah, yeah it's a game of like, right, yeah, no, yeah, let's go fight. So it's a game of patience. <laughs> no, so again, no patience. yeah, so again over there we played as a team. So I was the actual uh, yeah. person uh, holding the controller, but she would do all the okay. research, she would watch videos and she would tell me ki abhi isko aise oh, wow. cheez karna hai. ये करना है वो करना है. तो वो सब she used to play. Yeah, and we both not like melee player. I mean, In yeah, the, in, I mean, in Elden Ring, we didn't play melee, so then we didn't go and actually so, fight the boss with weapons. In Elden weapons. Ring, hmm. in Elden Ring, uh, there are purists. I mean, uh, in Dark Souls, uh, the purist people feel that you have to fight melee, like you have to hold a sword in your hand or some sort of a physical huh. weapon in your hand and actually go and fight. But then we play magic. Okay. Like yeah, we can we we had an intelligence and a faith build, and we just we just stay at a distance and, and just throw things and throw stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's perfectly it's, legal. It's oh, not. I should it. try that build. I should try a, a, like a mage build. Listen, yeah. and uh, little Aggie played a video, did a video where he had to play as a mage, and he sucked. Okay. Yeah, it's it not. It was beyond his ability to understand what spells are. So. <laughs> no, so uh, I feel <laughs> games teach so. you a lot about life. you know uh, yeah. because the one thing that i learned from elden ring is that you can choose your difficulty level a lot of times you don't have to make things as difficult as they sound they can be easy right. there can be an easier way out and if nothing works out you can just take a day off like you don't have to finish everything yeah. uh on one day so yeah so yeah. games teach us a lot so then, yeah yeah that's what he's playing i love assassin's creed odyssey because the oh. yeah no the 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 world is 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 absolutely stunning and so I, she loves it have you tried uh, yeah good. sorry have you tried the god of war games the new god ones i i have played god of war are you playing no no i haven't played the new ones i have played the old uh, old god of war but uh, i'm okay. i'm yet to play the new uh, two games i have not played ragnarok i have played the 2016 one but i have not finished it yet oh. okay right right Yeah, I like I like those ones, and I like sometimes I like like really turn your brain off and just shoot and kill things. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's why we play a game called like, like after we are done recording, I'm gonna go and play this game called uh, Hades, where all you have to do is go through like different uh, levels. Played Hades, yeah. Yeah, so then I'm I'm gonna yeah, yeah. play Hades. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My brain and just... yeah. So, so I, I, yeah, I got Diablo Four, and that's what I've been playing. I have played Doom. I have played uh, all sorts of FPS, Far Cry type games. We have finished. So then, yeah, yeah. Nice. finished all those Star Wars games also. Yeah, it's kind of like that as well. So we play lots of games. Basically, that's the conclusion. Nice. Basically, but that's, uh, we, that's we like, the bottom line. Yeah, we we don't like games that are too much into sports. Like I I I don't like oh, FIFA as much. So yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't like it. Probably um, because I'm a loner and I don't have anybody to play it with. That's the whole thing. Like in my <laughs> school, I don't think a lot of people had decent enough computers, so I never developed that those that sort of friends with whom I right. could play. I mean, right now I can, but yeah. it just doesn't come very naturally to find a person and then actually play multiplayer games with them. So, yeah. But we play with our yeah. staff sometimes. Like uh, recently, we had a game night where all of us were playing Fall Guys. Oh, nice! Fall yeah. Guys is a good game. Yeah. 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 Uh, You guys made a video a couple of years ago. I, I don't know if it was two years ago, but you guys made a video where you talked about you know you went for a vacation 
and you had experienced, you know, some anti-Indian racism. And I watched that video. It was a very interesting video because, you know, I've experienced not that level, obviously, of of racism, but I've experienced prejudice. Yeah, I'm, I'm, let me put it that way. Hmm. In your travels since then, do you feel like the way people view Indians or the way people react to Indians has changed at all? I mean, since the video, or since the video. No, I don't think it has changed as much because ultimately we look at world, we look at the world from a worm's eye view, not a, a bird's eye view. Like our experiences, we hold them. I mean, everybody holds their experiences as the gospel truth, which is hardly the mm. case. I mean, that's why I don't really want to label Egypt as an anti-Indian country. No, I don't no, want sir. to do Egypt that. Egypt had nothing right. to do with it. That Egypt had nothing to do not with it. Even, that guy was, that not, guy even was not even Egyptian. So he was from so, a completely oh. different... Yeah, the yeah, guy no, was from wasn't. Saudi. He was from Saudi. At least that's what we know about him. At least that's what we were told. So. Yeah. I'm a... Right. Yeah, so, so that guy wasn't an Egyptian. So uh, we can't really generalize. A lot of times, th there is this microaggression. Like I would call, uh, this this is just microaggression. That uh, I was in the US, probably we were going from Boston to New York and we were at the train station. So uh, over there, somebody uh, in the washroom uh, came to me and said that you Indians are scammers. So I will hack into your account mm. and uh, I will uh, teach you a lesson. So these these are micro mm. microaggression uh, lessons. Like I I know that I'm not supposed to take these things seriously. So yeah, I know. So these things keep happening. It's very funny that I had a very similar comment that you guys you know scam a lot and this and that, and basically I just told them you should be very careful you know talking to me rudely because I'll call my cousin in India and he's a top level scammer. <laughs> He'll get you. He was like, "What? I'm, like, I'm just, I'm just screwing with you, man. Calm down." No, but again, this is a great example of the sort of criticism which has a hint of truth in it, because we know that scamming right. is a big problem in India, and it is something that we need yeah. to act upon. And that's where it hurts. Yeah. That's where it hurts that we know yeah. that we are trying. I mean, not us, but a lot of Indians are trying to get better and get better. And we know that how far we have come in the last 20 years, but. It's very difficult to change that image because India is such mm. a huge country. No, we don't do we don't do ourselves any favors. I'll be really honest. Right. We don't do ourselves any favors. Where... But she is quite brutal. In in what way? No, but when we go outside, we have no sense of personal space. We will talk extremely. She's loudly. talking about overall about Indians, Indians, not us. Yeah, not us. Yeah, yeah. Indians. <laughs> overall Indians. I mean, Abhi goes outside and just talks so loudly. No, everywhere. it's not him. <laughs> so, Indians will go outside. They'll talk loudly. They'll uh, mm. they'll, they'll they'll talk down to a lot of people. They'll uh, mm. talk loudly on their phones or they'll watch videos loudly in public spaces. It's it's quite an it, it's mm. it's annoying for us also. So imagine people abroad. They'll also be rude to a lot of hotel staff. They'll be rude to airline staff. And we made a video about why uh, like the Indian passport is weak. And then one of the things we said was, mm. well, people don't want Indians to visit their country because we're not the best tourists. To be fair, the Chinese are a lot more annoying. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll give you an example. We had gone to Germany and outside of Munich has this yeah. castle, the Walt Disney Castle called Neuschwanstein. Mm. So we had to travel two and a mm. half hours to reach there one way. And then when we went there, the whole place was swarmed with Chinese tourists. And they were all talking exactly the same way. They were talking extremely loudly. They were going and crowding all the spots trying to take <laughs> selfies on, on, on those yeah. selfie sticks that they flooded the Indian market yeah. with. And they were generally being a huge menace. They would not move from the place after clicking the, this. They were generally wow. very bothersome. So... Yeah. So if if that's that's I think the only very poor consolation that we have that we're not as bad as the Chinese, but yeah, <laughs> the pretty bottom of the barrel when it comes to behavior. No, like, so again, don't diss on yeah. Indians, please don't diss on Indians. Like most of the people watching this, you know, you know what this is. What this is you're, me off the If you're behaving badly, then then you correct karna chahiye na usko. Chahi baat so, you know what what upsets me the most is. It's kind of like the missed opportunities that Indians have overseas Absolutely. because yahapar, I talk to so many people here and they're always like, oh my God, I love yoga and I love spirituality and I love, you know, meditation and mindfulness. 
such a huge industry in the United States, man. It's insane That's how big it is, right. right? I live in a very, very small town. I live in a small, my entire city that I, my entire town that I live in has like 7,000 people, the whole place. Wow. A very small town. But even here, there's like a yoga studio. Lots of people go do yoga. Lots of people go do meditation. And it's a shame that, you know, Indians don't take advantage of that. You know, I, I would... I would love for Indians to become like the authority on it. That if you want to learn real yoga, you have to learn it from an Indian. If you want to learn real meditation, you have to learn it from an you Indian. Know, I, I wish the, I wish we could capitalize the funny, the on that. The funny part more. is I did this course on Coursera on biohacking your brain. And one of the things mm. over there was sleep, diet and meditation as well. So... It was, mm. I, I forgot which university it was, but it was on Coursera. And the instructor kept using this term called secular meditation. And I was like, Mata, <laughs> secular meditation kya hota hai? <laughs> it is meditation. We did it. Oh, I hate that word. We did it. Yeah. And You're speaking yeah. to the CEO of secularism. So I know. Yeah, I, know. I was like, what is it's secular? And like, what is religious? Event? Like, we did it. Yeah. And the Tibetan monks did it, which is. Buddhists did it. Buddhists did it and mm. Indians did it. So it's it's right. an Indian subcontinent thing. What's the secular yeah. care? But I think they meant secular in terms of no mantra and all that stuff. But you don't have to chant mantras right. to do meditation anyway. So I mean, why I do you need yeah. to highlight that as well? I mean, it was, yeah. I was like, yeah. hai yaar. but it's our fault only. You know, we never capitalize on it. No, just we let all our stuff get patented by the US. Yeah, exactly. Which they do. Are yaar, here, the, the way they're appropriating yoga and meditation, it's, it's actually quite yoga, insane. Beer yoga, you know, goat yoga. Beer yoga, goat yoga. Yeah. Beer yoga, goat yoga. And it, they're all they're all talking like it, you know, it was invented in the United States, which is which is very funny is that to me. Is true? Beer, no, um, nobody would, nobody in their right minds would do beer yoga in India. So then, I'm sure. Yeah, Abhi, Abhi, give it time. Give it time. Let let Indian uh, yeah. GDP go up. Let the per capita GDP go up and you'll see that kind of nonsense in India, 100%. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't want to take too much more of your time. Just uh, ten more minutes, and I'll I'll, I'll hey, let you guys can, go. I we promise. We should make but... it a little more fun because uh, I I don't want people to think that we we are so serious. Probably, yeah. Probably. <laughs> this is this is the fun part. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully, this is the fun part. Okay. So I want to play a game with the both of you. Perfect. It's 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 a it's a rapid fire round, and you can give me it's just rapid fire round just for you know Dan, Dan. branding reasons but you can give me a long answer if you wish Dan, Dan. no problems there what is the best compliment you've ever received on your channel from from people watching the best compliment ah it's the bangalore one no but i don't want to make it serious that is true is it a funny <laughs> no man i don't know one of the best compliments we got was we made a video about books and people were like because of you i started reading books so it was ah, like, that's that good one of them no, uh, if she is going to say the... something serious, then I would say that uh, we had made a video about the president of India and somebody uh, okay. like what's the job of a president in India and uh, somebody who right. stays in the US uh, contacted us and said that uh, their daughter who is born in the US uh, bought the Indian constitution and she was so interested in reading it after watching our video and wow. she felt connected to India. Uh, so yeah, that was the oh, wow. probably the best compliment. That's cool. That's really cool. What is the funniest criticism that you've received on your channel? Funniest criticism I just mentioned about my teeth. So that's quite funny. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, something <laughs> like that. Uh, a lot of times people ask me questions about yeah. my t-shirt. No, no, like, no, 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 no. The, it, it, this uh, is not a criticism, but this is like, right. they, this is like people don't know how to word it. But whenever they see Abhiraj, they're like, you're much bigger than I expected. He was like, what, 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 what like, do you mean? What did you expect? Like, you expected me to be like this small because you see it on screen. You expected you to be phone size, what? man. <laughs> was like, they were like, yaar, ye to phone mein fit ho jata hai, fir itna bada kaise hai? Yeah. Hilarious. Because he's six feet tall. And then people are like, oh, you're big. You're big. I was like, well. I was like, ha, yaar, insan ke size ka hi hoon itna hai se. Like I'm not building size. Huh. Okay. It's funny. Plus, I mean, the other day, a lot of times people don't know how to, you know, whenever they meet us, they don't know what to yeah. say. So then uh, just huh. a few days back, I was sitting alone and a girl walks to me and says that I like your contents. 
I'm like when when hmm. did I show my contents to you? Yeah, he was probably like he, he was like he was like, like I have the best looking gallbladder on yes. YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I mean so unintentional funny. comedy, but then yeah. According to you guys, what is the worst trend in India right now? Ha! Huh, worst trend in India. I mean, in I what sense? I don't, I don't really know. I don't. Any? It could be anything. I don't. I don't watch. Political, cultural, pop culture, whatever. Worst trend is. Anything that grinds your gears. Watching. Yeah, I, I feel making people go viral who don't deserve that sort of attention, and I'm not talking about serious people. Okay, <laughs> there could be difference of opinion, and if the content is good, they should sure. go viral. But I'm talking about those people who take photos like this and go viral. <laughs> yeah, and come on yeah. coffee with Karan. Yeah, okay. I, I, I exactly. You can come on coffee with Karan. I'm really not like. Yeah, yeah. That's not like a barometer not, of success. Not, yeah, nonplussed about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> would you Would you agree with that, new, or do you have something different? No, I mean I don't watch reels that What's much. What trend? So... The trend could be anything. Like the trend could be. Could be anything. Anything that you watch in India that grinds your gears. Of course, it's it's not the worst trends in India. Yeah, there is this one trend that I would really like cancelled. It's it's. I wish people wouldn't. Again, this is a serious answer. So I'm sorry, guys. But uh, this one trend that I wish people would not do is to buy their pets, because we deal with mm. a lot of uh, indie dogs that are abandoned on the streets and stuff. There are a lot of these puppies that you can give a home, but you will spend thousands. And I don't mean it's not a small number. It's not like two thousand, three thousand rupees. चालीस पचास हजार रुपए साठ हजार रुपए सत्तर हजार रुपए एक आप पपी के लिए इतने पैसे दे रहे हो आप वही एक आ, रास्ते पर जो एक पपी है उसको घर दे सकते हो आप एंड विद 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 व्हाट लॉजिक योर लॉजिक इज कि आपने एक एक्टर को देख लिया जो इस ब्रीड वाले पपी को रखता है तो फिर आपने वो पपी रख लिया तो फिर आपकी जिंदगी बन गई लेकिन ये सच नहीं है क्योंकि वो ब्रीडिंग करवाने के लिए काफी सारे क्रूएटीज होते हैं सो देन आई विश दैट आई विश आई कुड कैंसिल दैट ट्रेंड यू नो आई 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 वुड एब्सोल्युटली कैंसिल द स्नीकर कल्चर यस नो यू डोंट लाइक इट नो गेट कैंसिल्ड ऑन ट्विटर Yeah, yeah, I'll cancel. get cancelled. I'll get cancelled if I say yeah, it. You're done for, but, man. But this I will, is, I will clarify. This is the end of Abhi and you. I will clarify. Like yeah. I personally would not like to spend my money on yeah. shoes that cost upwards of lakhs. That's what I would That's cancel. That's wild to me, man. That people would spend that like, kind of money I on would shoes. Like to, yeah, I would like to cancel those people who buy sneakers out of their first salary. Okay, yeah. cancel the entire my yeah. answer only. Yeah. Yeah, like tera money tera ko jaisa spend karna hai kar de. For getting cancelled. Cancel. Yeah. yeah. Sp- cancel. Speaking of what you said, yeah. speaking of what you said, new. Uh, what I what really what I really hate is when people get like fancy dog breeds that are meant for colder climates Arre. and then put them in Delhi. Arre, Delhi. I have a. I yeah, know I, somebody. I'm not going to take your name. You know who you are. Yeah. I know somebody that bought a Siberian husky. Oh, no. and then walks them around in bloody delhi in the middle of summer and that husky is like <laughs> kill me put me out of my misery yeah. and i'm like yaar yeah, cute i've seen saint bernard Why? i've seen I saint mean, bernard we in have two mumbai. saint bernards in mumbai i mean two nahi more than that i saw one in my house in ghar mein do hai like i've seen one outside parla station so uh, it's it's like yeah. i mean i'm like saint bernards are rescue dogs that are based in the swiss alps yeah. their job is to find people who are frozen and take brandy i hope, I hope that the, we are not to I'm them offending so. you you're, you're oh no my cold we we got it we got our dog from a shelter huh. because his so he when he was born his mother for some reason his mother stopped feeding their entire litter like two days after they were born okay so they said these dogs are going to die so somebody has to come and take them so i said theek hai i'll i'll go take them so that's how we got ours yeah, he's like a same but not mixed with like completely other dogs so Yeah, but I I'm I've never bought a dog, and even when we were in India, my parents always had dogs, and they always like got. ये शाम ने कहीं से जाके सड़क से कुत्ता ले आए उठा के okay fine this is our dog now we'll keep it. So we had like a bunch of dogs growing up. Okay, so another question that I have for you is, according to you, what is the silliest political, cultural, or pop culture narrative or opinion? held among indians mm. it could be anything no. well, what is the what 
the 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 silliest opinion held among indians in india ah uh, lots lots of them uh, but one would be that you have to be either or that you have to either mm. be a right winger or a left winger no we feel that you mm. can uh, no... debate on each and every point and sometimes on some yeah. issues you would feel that this side of the political spectrum is correct sometimes you would feel that the other mm. side is correct it's important to yeah. judge every point objectively and make your own opinions based on your own upbringing your own thinking and rational thinking So yeah, that's what that's what oh, I. Right. The silliest pop culture reference. Silly. Um, I don't know why this is. This is also a trend that I wish could get cancelled, and it's also a notion. It's it's this this thing that you need to really spend a lot on weddings, and weddings are supposed to be this template. कि आपको हल्दी मेहंदी संगीत ये संगीत कब से पैन इंडिया फिनोमेनन बन गया मुझे सच में पता नहीं चल रहा. हाँ हम में संगीत नहीं होता. No, we don't have a संगीत man. It's Cool. It's the Bollywoodization I, of the I, Indian wedding. I don't. Business. I don't even have like. Yeah. Our community, me, haldi ek alag function hi nahi hota. Shadi ke time pe panch mahila hai yeah. aati hai, and wo aapko aise haldi lagati hai, and then they're like, yeah, okay, done, cool. Makeup bhi kharaab nahi karenge, hum aapka aise kar denge, ho gaya aapko haldi ho gaya. So that's that's how it is. Yeah. It, it doesn't mean it's bad, and for some reason we have this hmm. idea, and I had that idea during our wedding also. Ki it should be like this. Mujhe aise photos milne chahiye. मुझे ऐसे कपड़े पहनने चाहिए बिकॉज सारे फोटोग्राफर्स यही फोटो ले रहे थे ऑफ ऑल द वीमेन वेरिंग लहंगाज एंड नाउ आई एम लाइक आई रिग्रेट इट सो मच आई शुड बॉट अ कांजीवरम सिल्क साड़ी यार यू फोल्ड होके चली जाती थी फालतू का लहंगा ले लिया इतना वेयर द साड़ी वंस अगेन एंड आई वोन माय वेडिंग साड़ी सो मेनी टाइम्स बट आई कैन नॉट फॉर द लव ऑफ मी वेयर माय वेडिंग लहंगा सो आई मीन इट्स सच अ या एंड आई आई बिलीव दैट यू नो स्पेंडिंग It's better to spend money on your honeymoon than your wedding. Yeah, yeah. Because course. your wedding day is such a chaotic day, right? It's not yours. That you remember parts of it. You don't remember the whole. Yes, exactly. It's not your day, but the honeymoon is yours. And if you spend money on it, you can really have a good time. You know. My father had said um, that that nobody wants to spend yeah. on their wedding. Like even he did not want to spend on his wedding, but they had to mm. for their parents and the mm. people that they wanted to invite. and similarly we yeah. also had to right. i mean obviously our parents spent on it because we were kids when we got married <laughs> it was literally 24 when we got married you were a kid okay. yeah, he was 24 i was 27 we have a reverse age gap i'm 3 okay. years older than him nice uh what is what are two things that you feel like have improved in india over the last decade uh i feel infrastructure has improved in parts in parts in parts uh infrastructure in parts. has improved uh i mean when we talk about roads roads have improved again everything mm. in india comes with an asterisk in okay part. because whenever i say something <laughs> i have like an inner critic asking me to iske bare mein kya accidents bhi to bad rahe hain roads yeah. bad rahe to ye sab hota rehta hai so everything comes with an asterisk but overall if i say that mm. yes roads have improved because we can back it up with data that we have built roads with yeah. a better speed uh when it comes to at least when it comes to national highways so just we have been sure. the rest is not in yeah, there yeah yeah uh, when it comes to national highways nationally infrastructure has improved that's uh, mm. one thing overall the way I feel, we yeah. i feel i feel our external relations especially with the gulf have also strengthened a lot over the past 8 mm. 10 years that has strengthened yeah. and what else has strengthened No, in some cases, India has played it really smart. Again, everything comes with an yeah. asterisk because everything could have been better. And even when it comes to foreign relations, there are yeah, some yeah, yeah, some parts. places where we are fucking it up really yeah, badly. Yeah, because I said. I'm that's sorry why if I, I said, can drop. Yeah. The, that's 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 why bomb. I said. No, you can drop as many yeah. bombs as you that's like. Why, that's why I specifically yeah. said the Gulf nations. Yeah. So specific, mm. specifically, specifically the Gulf nations. So two things that need to be improved in India. <sighs> we need to improve our air quality yes because uh, the one mm. thing see ultimately what happens is uh, after one threshold uh, a certain strata of people will keep thinking that yaar main to tax bhar raha hu iska sab fayda jo hai wo dusre logo ko ja raha hai mujhe yahan par saans lene ko nahi ho raha main yahan par office mm. mein air purifier laga sakta hu ghar pe ac mein reh sakta hu lekin baad mein mujhe sadak par jate waqt to semi sadak par jana hai तो वहां पर मुझे कुछ नहीं hmm. मिल रहा है तो क्यों ना मैं कहीं पर और मूव हो जाऊं 
so this is yeah. causing a brain drain in india and we don't we can't really complain the people for looking out for themselves everybody has their mm. own logical reason to look out for better opportunities and we don't feel there is right. anything wrong over there we feel there is general apathy towards the environment and this is not like this is not that sort of an argument ki development ek side or environment ek side no dono cheeze ho sakti hai aur humne baaki deshon mein dekha hua it's just that we have never been a pro reformist country like जो चल रहा है वो चलने दो यही बेस्ट पॉलिसी होता है जब भी रिफॉर्म लाने की कोशिश होती है तो फिर कुछ ना कुछ हो ही जाता है कि वो उल्टा ही पड़ जाता है तो फिर कोई भी सरकार आके यही सोचती है कि क्यों ही करने हैं रिफॉर्म्स इनको सुधरना ही नहीं है तो रहने दो इनको तो वी आर नॉट अ प्रो रिफॉर्मिस्ट कंट्री वी आर नॉट थिंकिंग अबाउट रिफॉर्म्स एंड दी अदर थिंग इज इंडिया एंड इंडियन लिव इन यूनिवर्स ऑफ द ऑफ दर ओन like and this applies to us content creators as well we are so happy with this big market that we have that we don't have an outward thinking mindset that even if we have mm. like lots of millions of followers when it comes to the table the global table we don't have a place over there it doesn't matter how many yeah. followers you have it matters ki who is watching your video i mean uh, you're getting my point right the chances of somebody oh, yeah, with like 100k followers from the us who is catering to the us audience uh, being seen by the youtube global uh, community is much higher than yeah. our videos anybody's videos for that yeah. matter so that's that's one thing yeah and yeah i feel like that's why i think english content you know uh, at least some focus on english content is also important you know because there is also a large amount of indians that speak english but i also think that communicating the indian viewpoint to a non indian audience i think is also important because otherwise we only have ourselves to blame if the non non indian media is going to sources that you think are incorrect right because well are you then providing Found that the non indian media with the with the you know with the correct resources true absolutely All right. Uh current for you guys best current movie or TV show that you guys are watching. Are watching. Uh right now we are not watching a show as or well. have watched in the previous year. Uh we loved Farzi. Uh if you have to name an Indian yeah. show. But uh, but we have very specific reasons for that because Farzi is the only thing that came slightly close to breaking bad in the sense most Mm. most hindi uh, films or ott will glamorize someone who's doing the wrong thing and make it seem like he is mm. yeah i mean Robin we have Hood. made so many so, movies about daud and like any gangster a- any yeah. any gangster but in farzi yeah. you end up empathizing for setupati yeah of course like setupati was the hero could also be setupati's very breezy acting about the whole thing but i found myself right. being like if Shahid Kapoor is getting in trouble. He deserves it. Yeah, he deserves it. He deserves so it. Was unapologetically right. the villain was well, the villain. Interesting. Like yeah. I, we we like that sort of films where there is some sort of karma, there is some sort of cause and effect. Yeah. That as a just because वो main character है इसकी वजह से उसको सब चीजें माफ नहीं होनी चाहिए. उसने अगर कुछ गलत किया तो उसको सजा मिलनी चाहिए. So we like to have that right. sort of causality in fiction as well. I mean that's the fiction that we prefer. So इसलिए फर्जी. What kind of movie or What kind of movie or TV show huh. does everyone like but you don't? Everyone like but we don't. Okay. I'm going to yeah. get cancelled for this. What? I don't like Tom. Let's do it. I don't like Tom. <laughs> really? I hate Tom and Jerry. I never found it funny. <laughs> What? Hate is a strong no, word. I, I never hate found them. it funny. I was like people I, like okay. my family used to put it and they'd all laugh and I was like wo samjha nahi. Uske liye high IQ chahiye. स्टोरी and um, netflix spent the most money in buying and so in acquiring it yeah. yeah how much is this kind of are wo mujhe thodi pata i don't yeah okay 
there has to be a decent amount but, of money uh, because that movie did very well yeah, but then yeah. animal did very well like back in my ca days when i was auditing z they spent obscene amounts of money to buy himmat wala i think they spent like 170 200 crores to hey sab batana nahi chahiye acquire himmat wala but that's a classic you, man that's a classic I, I this is not this is not jitendra wala himmat wala no 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 it's not it's it's Oh, no, that no, 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 the new one, the flop one. The new one. Oh, that the new Himachal. And I was like, this film bombed at the box office. I think they barely made like ten, twelve crores or something because I looked it up. And I was like, this fan, so much money to acquire it. So. अरे लोगों को पता है ना लोग cringe content देखते हैं जा जा के. हमने हमने हमारे honeymoon पे मिथुन के movies देखे हैं गुंडा वगैरह. That's true. That is true. That's true. We were. Like, I mean, cringe does work in yes, India. Yes, we were. We yeah. were in. To be fair, we were. My, in, like, my entire channel is focused around that <laughs> idea that cringe like, works. We we were in Austria <laughs> in like a small town, and there was legit nothing to do because when things shut over there at eight yeah. o'clock, it just shuts. We had nothing yeah. to do. Oh really? Yeah, it does. It's. Legit. That's what bloody New Zealand's like, man. Everything is closed at six o'clock. I'm like, how is this country surviving? So then we were like, अब क्या करें अभी hotel में? So then we were like, चलो गुंडा देखते हैं. We watched half of it. We got super spammed. <laughs> then we continued the next day. Yeah, yeah. Honeymoon. Because we hate ourselves. Because we hate ourselves. So, um, what is a guilty pleasure movie or TV show that you are slightly embarrassed to admit that you love? Slightly embarrassed to admit. Ah. Uh, I'm not really embarrassed. I mean, it's no. really, it's really decent okay. stuff. So, uh, I, I love to watch Zakir Khan's comedy again and again. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's good. Yeah, he's good. That's why I'm not embarrassed yeah. to watch, say that. We watch Rick and Morty. But yeah. We're yeah. Not again, we watch Rick and Morty. We are not embarrassed. We watch. We watch. Oh yeah, yeah, we watch American reality show. Mm-hmm. reality shows like we watch love is blind garbage really? garbage that sort shows, of garbage yeah. Yeah, we, we watch <laughs> bottom of the barrel american reality garbage on it my my wife watches something like that it's uh but to be fair love island that's fair, what she watches i, I love yeah, love is love is blind netflix it's japan. japan so that was really nice but the us one is trash hmm. it's trash <laughs> so uh, uh, we loved watching premagan so then i have showed premagan to her ah. family I have showed such Achha. useless movies to her family because it was so bad, and I yeah. cannot, for the love of God, believe that that film won awards. I you you should watch if you like watching bad movies. I would really recommend that you watch Rudraksh. Have you guys seen Rudraksh? I watched Rudraksh. Rudraksh. I watched fantastic, Rudraksh. Movie, amazing. Man. What it'll it'll change your life. What VFX? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Wait, Rudraksh is a there's only this this there's, there's the Sanjay Matrix Sanjay and then there's Rudraksh. Sanjay Dutton, yes. You have watched the pretentious yeah. movie. Yeah, review. I watched the pretentious movie reviews, and I got spammed. Actually, in that you watched it. That's she how has a lot of people it. know about no, she it. She has watched it. I have okay. watched the movie as well. In fact, I used to like that movie yeah. when I was in school. Me and my friends used to get together and we used to watch like these mm-hmm. like bad movie. We used to have like bad movie night in college. So we watched one of the nights we watched Rudraksh because one of my friends was like, "Dude, you have to watch this movie." I said, like, "Okay, let's watch it." And we had such a good time. Four or five of our friends watching Rudraksh. Really. <laughs> What is a real life character current or historical that you would like to see a movie or TV show made about? Lots of people. Lots of people actually. Um, actually uh, there is this nice movie coming up uh, which is about Usha Mehta. Uh, Sara Ali Khan is acting mm. in it. So yeah. my uh, when my brother was in college so they had made a play about uh, Usha Mehta. Usha Mehta. So she, it was about okay. radio. It was about how yeah. they used radio for So Usha Mehta was one of the few people who started an underground radio during the british times oh wow and uh, they used to use underground radios underground press and stuff like that to spread word about uh, freedom fighters what they were doing and um, where they were planning to it's kind of weird but they were getting their own resources but we still call it a loot and stuff like that so so mm. she used to run an extensive underground radio network but as as So um, I don't know how well they will do it in the movie, but yeah, then if the well movie is well made, at yeah. least the uh, play that they had set up, it was a one act play. It was very beautifully uh, yeah, it was. crafted. Uh, the other thing, it's not really uh, like an individual, but it's about the uh, Andaman Cellular Jail, uh, yeah. the Kalapani. So oh, wow. the Kalapani, the series is not about Kalapani. They have made it. I, I like right. Kalapani, the series as well. But then I would love to see a Kalapani series, which is about the cellular jail. So, yeah, the because jail. there are so many stories over oh. there. So my mother is oh, yeah. uh, reading this book called uh, 
माझी जन्मठी राईट सो इट्स अ मराठी बुक रिटन बाय विनायक दामोदर सावरकर अँड ही हॅज इंटरव्ह्यूड अ लॉट ऑफ हिज इनमेट्स या इनमेट्स and oh, they, wow. there are experiences that they are horrific like they yeah, are horrific. they are comparable yeah. to the holocaust and they these are. are the stories oh, yeah. that have not been told because yeah. we believe that uh, vd savarkar is a cursed person no, like if cursed. anybody talks about cursed. him they are cancelled by default he so we don't cursed. know how the yeah. upcoming movie is going to be whether it will do justice to uh, the man or not Yeah. but that man had something like there are so many stories about him that are not known to the general public yeah. Yeah. and let's not make it about him let's make it about the cellular jail yeah. like if people hate him yeah exactly let, no, let, let them, them hate, hate him, him like him, that's but... their crime but then uh, f- forget it but let's make it about the jail there were many other freedom fighters who were there who were driven to insanity over there which is literally comparable yeah. to holocaust and this is a complaint to the government mm. as well that okay if you have to tell stories then why not tell these stories this is the actual treasure if you want to make so called propaganda films then make these make films these, make these, these are not propaganda yeah. films these It's are films history. about the truth like this and is this is like, what needs to come out he said the one thing that india should improve and this is one thing that we don't have ownership of our own history we often like mm. you'll see this one lie repeated online ki ब्रिटिश ने ब्रिटिश काफी बेनेवलेंट थे उन्होंने भारत के लिए रेलवे बनाए लेकिन मैं आपको सच्चाई बता दू एंड yeah. ये सच्चाई मैं नहीं बता रही आप दिल्ली में अगर कभी अगर जाओगे तो दिल्ली में रेलवे म्यूजियम है वहां जाइए वहां रेलवे म्यूजियम ने खुद ये बात बताइए मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रेलवे ने सेटअप की हुई रेलवे म्यूजियम है वहां पे आप जाइए कि हाँ ब्रिटिशों ने पहली बार ट्रैक्स भारत में लगाए थे भारतीयों से स्टील right. बनाकर उसके पैसे ना देकर रेल लाइन बनाए थे लेकिन exactly. लेकिन जब वर्ल्ड वॉर टू शुरू हुआ तब उन्हें गन्स बनाने के लिए स्टील की जरूरत थी तो उन्होंने वही रेलवे लाइंस उखाड़े और वही रेलवे लाइंस को तोड़कर उसका जो मटेरियल है वो यूज करके गन्स बनाए right. तो आज भारत में जो रेलवे बनी है वो हमने खुद अपने दम पर और दोबारा अपने खुद के पैसे डालकर बनाए हैं तो इसके लिए ब्रिटिश hmm. को आप क्रेडिट नहीं दे सकते so that is one thing that we don't have ownership of our own history we propagate bullshit like this that the british yeah, were never like fire hai. like we are going so, on and on no no it's all so, good I mean, it's all good this is this yeah yeah no, are yaar yeah. this is a this is the point of a podcast yeah, I mean, you speak as much like as you people, need to like this is this is what it is we have no hmm. ownership of our own history we don't care about yeah. our own people like i mean this usha mehta that he mentioned was one sketch in my history textbook and two lines yeah That's literally wow. i mean there are so many Who people likes? i feel that there should be an honest attempt to make a video about even bajirao bajirao peshwa like we only really? know bajirao mastani that's like like one one that small chapter one from his small, life like yeah. you have yeah. made a warrior into a lover boy and that to a cheater like it's it's okay at least a yeah. few people know and, about and, him and to be honest and abhi one of the greatest generals yeah, in course. indian history he, one of the greatest lost. generals in indian history yeah yeah So that's that's, that's never something. lost a war where he took the maratha empire from yeah, where yeah, it was before bajirao and where it was after bajirao like the amount of territory that he gained for the maratha empire is insane that's, that's what and it's it's kind of tragic yeah. because we don't have ownership for our history we not conserve our places i feel the only state only few places like gujarat has good museums to talk about their history but not enough and rajasthan is the only place mm. that tells their history but that's no credit to the government it's because the rajputs hold on to their history even though a lot of them ally yeah. with the british and with the moguls and stuff because of infighting but then if you still go to chittor and do a tour the people will say ki this was destroyed yeah yeah so they will still hold on to it if you guys could have dinner with a historical figure current or historical again who would it be and why too many people but maybe swami vivekananda okay uh i would do it with uh uh maybe vallabhbhai patel sardar vallabhbhai yeah. patel mm. maybe or vallabhbhai patel boss the man himself sarabhai vikram sarabhai yes Hmm. I mean, it's a Because tragedy Sarabha, that Rumi Baba. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel hmm. we lost a generation over there. Like Later. back to back, there were these deaths. I mean, of course, uh, Sardar yeah. Vallabhbhai Patel did not die of any conspiracy, 
but again sardar vallabhbhai patel if he had we been lost. alive the country would have been different we if lost. subhash chandra bose we had been alive been. the country would have been different yeah. if uh, homi yeah. bhaba had been alive the country would have been different no it was literally like we lost i think patel in 48 we lost uh, hmm. shastri in like 66 and then we lost uh, Sar- sarabhai before, soon enough and yeah. we lost Homi Baba as well. So at once, at in one shot, our space program, our um, nuclear program, and a very capable and honest leader were all torpedoed in less yeah. than a decade. So, yeah. 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 So all, yeah. all these people. Yeah. So many people. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. Last couple of questions. Yeah. Um, what? Um, what is your favorite genre of music for both for either both of you honestly we don't have a genre but we love rock which is uh, sort of missing yeah. nowadays like we uh, uh yeah what kind of bands do you listen to in rock no right now we uh, we love listening to imagine dragons uh, i used to love listening okay. to acdc as well but then it was a phase in my life uh Uh, mm. ACDC, Metallica. It was a phase, like it was a uh, college boy phase. I still, I still like listening to Linkin Park sometimes. Yeah, and Linkin. Coldplay. I feel so mm. much. The, the the only genuine FOMO I felt in life was not going to the Coldplay concert right now, when they were in like <laughs> Thailand and Singapore. Because now, if I look at their tickets, right. I'll be able to get the tickets in Australia. And I was like, shit, wow. they're sold out the whole year. Yeah. So I was like, shit. Wow. I I grew up uh, you know listening to a lot of the grunge bands like Nirvana, Soundgarden, Alice in Chains, um, Pearl Jam. I love those bands a lot a lot of the grunge bands. My fav- one of my favorite genres is new metal so obviously you have Linkin Park, Korn is one of my favorite bands of all time. Uh and my absolute favorite band of all time ever is this German band called Rammstein. and i grew up listening to their music when i was very little somehow i got a hold of their music and it's been my favorite band of all time ever since like you can put on a ramstein song any time any day they i can listen to their entire discography no problems so if you if you are looking for new music check out ramstein i don't know if you like it but it's it's very like hardcore industrial uh, kind of heavy metal okay so check it out see if you like it What genre of music are you guys not a fan of? Not a fan of. Uh I I don't think there is any sort of music that I mean I can categorize I'm, any genre that I'm I particularly dislike. Look, I don't like the recent Hindi songs that are like too sappy and She too doesn't rude. like Arijit Singh songs. I'm sorry. Like she is going to hey, get cancelled multiple you, times. I'm going to get so cancelled so hard. <laughs> she is going to get cancelled multiple <laughs> times. Have you ever gotten cancelled six times in a single day new? Because <laughs> that that would be a new phenomenon I'll, for I'll you. I'll probably get cancelled so many times after this episode. <laughs> Tom and Jerry अच्छा नहीं लगता. Tom and Jerry अच्छा नहीं लगता. निकाल दो इस And Arijit Singh ko to nahi like like karna is basically blasphemy. Yeah. Yeah. But, How but, can you not like Arijit Singh? <sighs> Because Some of his songs are, listen, I also don't like those sappy, sappy songs. Some of his songs are like overdosed. I hated the Ashiki two soundtrack. It was like so sappy. <laughs> it was like so sappy. 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 It was like if there is any kind of love then you don't fall in yeah. love you rise in love okay love should make you mm. a better person even if you mm. don't end up with that person okay it should not make mm. you miserable so that's why those yeah. sort of songs also i don't like ki acha chalta hu duao mein yaad rakhna are kya hai nahi ye sab nahi chahiye like what sort of destruct duao mein yaad rakhna aise nahi hota life mein aur aise hame promote bhi nahi karna hai that this is cool yeah no it's, it's like not. being yeah. a really emo not. lover boy is not cool it's really not it's really Emo lover boy is a big industry in yeah. India though yeah it's I a very big genre people love being emo lover boys in India of course it is like like yeah. like it is aise wo thopa jata hai ladkiyon par ki aapko wazan kam karna hi hai waise ladkon par ye thopa jata hai ki aapka dil tootna hi hai aadarsh aapka dil nahi toota to fir kaise yani wo kya kya hai wo life hai aapki ha yeah and and finally yeah. something that gives you a lot of hope for India going forward I like I I like this fact that I said we don't have ownership of our history but 
that's slowly changing mm. i mean we've not reached the status where a cursed man like savarkar will be dispassionately discussed but the very fact that you have a movie made on usha uh, mehta just a second let to... me clarify when we say savarkar was a cursed man we don't mean it as a disrespect no we respect him a lot i respect the man yeah. because nobody could go through what he did in like i know what you mean the, the context of the word cursed yeah. i know yeah. what yeah. you mean because if, you know his his anybody, life if anybody and talks, his legacy yeah, for a while if anybody talks hmm. about savarkar they are cancelled as the so uh, so lata uh, mangeshkar's <laughs> brother was uh, you you have so we we have come from there to, to today where at least even if we fight happening. even if we fight in our conversations we are at least ready to talk about stuff like, that matters you don't have right. the Not same everything. you don't have the same 3 4 same old independence movies like i remember my mm. history textbook being divided into <laughs> you know um the conservatives moderates the moderates the people who would go and have tea versus extremists they they they, they just yeah. go and have tea with the british then the extremists which is bullshit because it's your country like they are the people who are colonizing you and apni azadi apni so apna hi swatantra azadi nahi apna hi swatantrata maangne ke liye aap lad rahe ho to aapko extremist aur aapko terrorist bulaya ja raha hai ye exactly. terminology galat hai but that included bhagat singh sadguru and uh, bhagat singh exactly. all, all of those people lal bal pal all of those extremists and then was the gandhi yeah. era which was like half of my textbook yeah. like the very fact that we are making videos about we are making films about usha mehta and stuff like that right now is the change that we are accepting that this happened to us so that's that's one change and i yeah. mean i have hope that people will realize that this is the country we were born with and that they will do something to change things because it's their country like they have ownership of it so the one hope i have yeah. about india is that you know this is one country where the best is yet to come you know yeah. every country every country has their ups and downs but historically speaking we have proof that our culture has survived no other pagan culture has survived for so long so we have yeah. that longevity we have the proof of history that we have survived and on that basis we can survive further as well plus geopolitically right. we are at a very interesting situation uh, position where everybody needs us if we play our cards mm. right then we can be at We, we 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 will never be a super power super power per se oh, yeah. but we can be a great power yeah. soon and we by soon mm. we mean by the end of our lifetime it's it's going to be a long mm. process because india takes pride to be by being the only civilization that has not you know that does not have blood on its hands like all major mm. super powers or or important countries in the world today have blood on their hands we don't have blood on our right. hands and this is historically speaking this is not the history of the last 100 years this is the history of the last 2000 right. 3000 years and that puts us morally on a very nice pedestal which is something that our leaders need to take forward and uh, it's yeah. going to be a very interesting year i just watched a video that this year half of the world's population is going into elections so it's going to be a very yeah. interesting year so it gives me hope it gives me hope as a content creator it gives me hope as a citizen of the world and it gives me hope for india wonderful well guys i hope uh, you know i i know I've, i wanted to take an hour of your time i ended up taking almost 2 hours of your time but uh, i hope it wasn't painful for no, you no it wasn't painful but i hope that you got something out of it because uh, i i hope that this oh, wasn't too serious there were some moments where no no not at all and there were least- we had a good time we had some fun and you know th- this is the first time that we've actually connected so you know i'm 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 very happy with how it went it was great to talk to you both yes, yes. 
uh, and hopefully you know we'll we'll be able to connect again in the future sure. thank you thank you so much for having us and if thank you are coming you. down to india do let us know i will do i'll, I'll probably be there in may so i might Amazing. i might hit you guys up sure all right yeah okay All right, well, take care, guys. I I think you know where to follow Abhi and you on YouTube. Uh, please go and follow them on YouTube. Please go support their content. I always watch it. I find it very interesting. Thank you. Uh, I I always work to you know. Uh, I I I get a lot of ideas. I get a lot of you know how to shape my content from watching these guys as well. So please go and support them. Abhi and you, thank you very very much thank for you. joining thank me. Thank you so much for, for having us. us.